Well, it has been more than 150 years since the Civil War ended back in 1865, but a woman believed to be the last remaining Civil War widow died just last month. That's right. Helen Jackson was 101 years old. And News Nation reporter Jesse Inman spoke to some of the people who knew her story the best, a story that involves a secret marriage, a promise she kept to herself, and the only husband she ever had. Before Helen Jackson passed away in December, she led a life that made history. In 1936, 17-year-old Helen married 93-year-old Civil War veteran James Bolin. Her longtime friends Joyce Inman and Ruthie Letterman, as well as local historian Jill Phillips, explain that it wasn't a typical marriage. Helen began as a caretaker for Mr. Bolin, and he wanted to repay her somehow. He asked her to marry him and basically explained that if they were to marry, that when he passed away, she would be able to draw his pension. But she didn't do it for that. She did it because she cared. She wasn't in it for the money. She just felt sorry for him. And he thought a lot of her. And this older man was all alone and, and needed help. And she lived in a home with her parents. They didn't live together. It was a very private ceremony in Boland's Niangua home. When he passed away three years later, Boland's daughter, much older than Helen, delivered a warning. His daughter, you know, confronted her after he passed away and threatened her that if you go after, go get his pension, I will ruin you. If it came out, they would think that she was money hungry and she married that old man just to get his pension. As decades went on, Helen carried that secret with her. And when the time came to withdraw that pension at age 60, she didn't. About four years ago, Helen finally revealed her secret to her minister and close friend, Nicholas. She actually told Nicholas all of this when they were planning her funeral. And they also had the family Bible that everything was written in. So that's the actual record of their marriage. But because they never had an official county marriage license, they needed to find a witness to the marriage. In 2017, at the Marshfield Cherry Blossom Festival, they tracked one down to help make it official. World War II veteran Dr. Tommy McDonald was there back in 1936. Dr. Tommy was squirrel hunting, and so they made him come in and be a witness. And he remembered, he, oh yeah, I remember Helen getting married, and I remember my dad telling me not to say anything. Today, the Webster County Historical Society has a memorial dedicated to Helen, who seemingly dedicated her own life to her late husband. Very special woman, lived 101 years. Jesse Inman, News Nation.